Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of Guacamele. We are currently making our way to the Great Temple, where Kalaka is attempting to overthrow everything. Looks like this actually might have been right before the boss fight. Whoa, hello! Alright, this is quite the arena. <laughs> we had to stop last time because we are getting too far in, but now... Now look at these guys mean business. This looks like a nasty place to fight. We're gonna do our best to take down whatever we can in here. These guys actually go down really easy. Only took a couple of hits to actually take out that flying guy. They're normally pretty tough. See? It was like one hit to take him out. Strange. I guess they are... Well, that was only... Yeah. I guess we are building up to the finale here. Kalaka is directly above us. We may actually be combining this into the previous episode if it's super short. Yeah, we're going right up to the boss fight. This may be it. Hey there, goat. This is it, buddy. I hope you're ready. Bing. May the gods look favorably on you today, Juan. This is your chance to stop Kalaka and restore balance in the universe. Still have no idea who you are, lady. Still have no idea who you are. But there's another head in case we want to go back somewhere. Might as well buy another costume. Oh, there's Diablo's suit again. Nice. Allez, brihe! Buy the chicken suit, because why not? Not gonna use it, but we'll buy it. So, I guess it's time to go fight the boss. Good luck, man. You're on your own now. I'm too old for this. Here goes. The great altar. Time to save the girl and save the day. Juan! You have to get out of here. Kalaka will be back any moment. I wish things hadn't turned out this way. I wish we were back in Pueblucho. I guess we're going to miss the festival. Maybe we could have. Not so fast! Luchador, how nice of you to join us for the final ceremony. Hey, you ugly charo! You've got me, now let him go! Oh, Muffin, how sweet. I knew you'd come around to the idea of us being together. After all, you are about to marry a god. I just hope your incessant yapping will be curtailed by the skeletonization process. Let him go. Why do you care so much about this one anyway? Wait. I see what's going on here. You're the Tagave farmer. <laughs> You're a luchador now. But I killed you. I definitely killed you. Not to worry. You'll have the great privilege of dying twice by my hand. I am Carlos Calaca, the greatest charo that ever lived. And died, but lives again. Oh, and don't worry. I'll make sure she witnesses your painful, painful death. Juan! <laughs> Lovely. Now, show me how worthless you truly are, Gave boy. Here we go. Versus Carlos Galaka rematch. That looks like it's going to be annoying. Constant dimension switching. And vulnerability switching. Ooh. And he hits like a truck, too. Holy cow. Man, I don't even know how to react to this yet. That whole splash hurts you, too. Jeez, we're getting wrecked. This <laughs> we had destroyed. Absolutely. How are you even supposed to be on top of him to hit him with that? Like, that one seems like the most likely to actually give you a chance, but he immediately has his armor back. Holy cow, that's a hard fight. Okay. This is surprisingly difficult. I can hit him once there. If, he, if I'm behind him. One more rooster uppercut. I guess this is all about getting in those single shots with your powers. You take so much damage from everything, though. You can't dodge through that because it's a fire attack. Not wrong move. There we go. Broke his armor once there. Nope. Too far away. Come on, now. <laughs> All of his attacks are fire, so you can't dodge them. Except maybe that one. That one might be dodgeable. But either way, that's still pretty cheap. All of your attacks are unblockable. How am I supposed to fight you? Alright. 
So, this is not going so well. Maybe we did a good thing by starting this in a new episode, because this guy is tough. He also cheats, in my opinion, because those attacks being unblockable is super lame, and in fact they come out of nowhere and he's already attacking when you, when you do. Alright. Got one break there, whoop! I guess what you need to do is when he does that downward smash, you need to be already ready to smash him, by jumping around like that. That way you can get the hit in there. Except when it's not green, it's a bit trickier. When he appears next to you, you just have to dodge immediately, otherwise you will get hit. Not fast enough that time. We're getting there though, I think. Except I keep trying to dodge the wrong moves now. Ah! You can't dodge that one, you have to dodge the other one. Okay. Okay. We'll get there. Or not. He attacks so quickly! So quickly, and you can't you can't dodge some of his moves. But you have to dodge other ones of his moves. <laughs> like that! Come on! Alright, last boss is an absolute jerk. That's what I'm learning today. Whoop! He's hurtable, but he's not enjoyable to fight. So when he appears next to you, he's already attacking. It's already basically too late. Wrong move. There we go, we got him. Oop, nope, tried to dodge roll that, that kills you. Wow, this guy is an absolute jerk. <laughs> Holy cow! Alright, maybe, maybe what we do here is we try something a bit different. <coughs> we grab on the walls here? No, we cannot grab on the walls here. So I was thinking if we could use the walls to the sideways attacks, that might actually be able to hurt him still, because that seems to break those red and different colored barriers sometimes. But, not this time, evidently. And attack the wrong way, like a genius! Oh, Kalaka, you are an absolute jerk. At least we're doing damage to you this time, but ow! You hurt so bad! Even when I'm already out of the way, your attacks still wreck me. Come on! Come on, this is not cool! Okay, I did dodge that one, which is nice. After failing to dodge them so many times, it's nice to actually succeed in a dodge for a change. And we're dead. Okay, we got him all down to half health that time. This is ridiculously hard. Holy cow. Okay. I dodged that one, didn't dodge though, so I got hit. Can't dodge that one, you gotta jump. But it, like, <laughs> there's no time to figure out if you need to jump or if you need to dodge, because either it's one or the other, and if you pick the wrong one, you already took damage. Maybe I'm just always supposed to jump? I guess you can jump over his other attack as well. So you just jump over everything, doesn't matter what he does. Yeah, but that's what it is. You just always jump over his attack. Or you fail to jump over his attack and get killed. There we go. Alright, we kinda got this. He's getting down to half health now. Oh, wrong move. There we go. Whoop, that was close. Alright, you always jump over his attack, unless it's that one, in case you jump into it. Like a fool! He's taking damage. Wrong move. Oh, we're dead. Well, we almost got him. He's a jerk, but it looks like you can actually just jump over whatever he does, no matter what it is. Beat him that way. That was not what I meant to do there at all. Right over his head, really, game? Alright. Got him. And we got hit because we're too slow. Okay. Okay. Got him, but we're gonna get hit this time. Yep. Because it was too slow. Some of these moves are jerks. Dash him. There we go. I think we're getting the hang of this. I'm guessing this is not his final form, though. He is the last boss, after all. Would not surprise me at all if he has three more forms. Ow. Got him with that one, luckily. Whoop. He's almost dead. We got him. Okay. 
<sighs> Luchador. You are lucky I spent all my energy on the ritual. But you are too late, for the Black Sun arrives. Come, witness the merging of two worlds and the beginning of my new world order. It's the Eclipse. Ah! El Presidente's daughter! No, we still don't have a name for her, do we? <laughs> the power! I can feel it welling inside me! Okay. He's got holy ba- Okay, you're big now! Behold! I am Kalaka! God of the living and the dead! Now tremble under my rule! Okay! Versus something Kalaka! For the fate of the universe! You can throw meteors at him, really? Woo! Meteors! Dash him so I can actually hit him. No, no, that. Oh, 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 Thankfully, for grabbing meteors, that attack doesn't actually hurt us. That's good to know. He's gonna get his shield back up in a second. I don't understand what determines his shield. Sometimes they come really fast, sometimes they do not. Now he has his green barrier active, which is annoying. Alright, get over there, break that, get out of the way, because he's gonna be shooting projectiles at us. Ow. Well, that's our first hit so far in this battle, so it's not so bad. It seems like sometimes he regenerates his shield really fast, other times he really doesn't. Chicken defense! Alright. Oh, okay, that's the smash attack you have to jump over. Wrong! Ah! So easy to do the wrong thing, and now his shield's back up again. He is below half health, though, which is nice. Can I hit him with these? No, shield's back up, of course. Break that. Oh, I needed one of those. Can't get out of there fast enough. I need to grab one of these torpedoes so I can hit him, but he gets his shield back up so fast. Come on. Grab one of them! Oh my goodness. Okay, those are straight up. We are so dead. We got a lot closer this time. Partially because the game decided to not put its shield up so fast. We actually got a bunch of hits on him in a row there. This is a nasty battle. This is just a mean, mean fight. Galaka! He's very impressive looking, but he's also a complete jerk. Because you basically can't rely on being safe from anything he does, because you need to be able to hit the meteors into him to be able to attack him. But if they don't spawn close to you, there's not much you can do against them. He's very RNG, you see. So, like, now we're able to do, like, a whole quarter of his health in one stage because he just decided not to put his shield back up. So we've got him down to half health already just because that was how the random number generator decided this fight was going to go this time. Oh, didn't get it that time, though. Oops. Yeah, like, he's already almost dead just because the game decided that was how it was going to go. Come on, obstacles that I can defend myself from his attacks with. There we go, that also do damage to him. Alright, looks like Kalanka's not doing so hot this time. His shield's not coming back anywhere near as fast as normal, he's down to very little health. Of course, I'm getting obliterated now all of a sudden. Avoid that. He's shooting a smash to the ground, but he's dead! Fantastic! Boom shakalaka! <laughs> Uh-oh. Not looking so good there, Kalaka, are you? You caused this to happen, Kalaka. You brought this upon yourself. Ah! Another power orb! I guess that's where the sixth one comes from. Let's get it. Got all six orbs of power now. Twing! 
Now what? We have fully powered our luchador mask. Press Y to save Princess. El Savior! Is she alright? We still don't know her name. But we've saved her, maybe. Who knows? You did your best, Juan. We just powered up our mask, and it goes on really breaking on us. She's okay, Juan. She's okay. Yay! <laughs> that smile. That smile. The Luchador wins. Magnifico. <laughs> that was cute. And the Guacamele team. I guess this is the credits. I still have no idea who that Juanita woman was, though. Female Juan in the land of the dead. Looks like they had a fun life, though. Interestingly enough, Haguar Javier and uh, Ishtabe looked like they survived pretty well. Because they were there in that little scene. It was just Flameface and, uh, and our good friend the evil demon monster who didn't actually make it out again. Chicken. <laughs> we have a chicken referee? Okay. I really like this game. The music was great, the art was great, some of the fights were really irritating, and I guess they'd be even more so if you hadn't powered up fully by the time you came there, but... Still farming the agave. That's a cute little story, too, what do you know? Very cute. Congratulations! You have completed normal mode. A winner is you. Hard difficulty is now available. Oh, good. <laughs> we also saved our Presidente's daughter. We are a true hero. Nice. That took us seven hours and 30 minutes, apparently. But uh, not sure if that's entirely true, because our game time is really just what we played here on YouTube, so I guess the total time of the playlist will probably tell you how long our actual game was, because there was definitely a lot of time in between episodes where I was just sitting on the screen, not doing anything. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. We did it! We did it! Extras. Happy ending, happy credits. Is there another ending? Other than the end? What's this? Oh, I see. Okay, that's when you... Yeah. Okay. And that's what they think is the ending, but then they realize, oh no, she's fine. Why is it in French? <laughs> Why is it in French now? English, please. Thanks. Okay, cool. Well, that's Guacamelee, everybody. Thank you all for watching. That has been quite an adventure to play through. I love the music in this game, love the art. It's a lot of fun to play through with a couple of really irritating spots, like that chicken game. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought about the series in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, bye-bye.